Welcome to Finantax Clips. Have you ever wondered how the Federal Reserve influences the economy? Let's unravel this mystery together. The Federal Reserve, affectionately known as the Fed, is the central banking system of the United States. It was established in the year 1913 and its primary objective is to provide the country with a steady monetary and system. Now you might be wondering, how does the Federal Reserve accomplish this? Well, the answer lies in its dual mandate, which is like a balancing act of promoting maximum employment and maintaining stable prices. It's like walking a tightrope, where the Fed must strike the right balance between fostering economic growth and preventing inflation from spiraling out of control. Think of it this way. If the economy is a car, then the Federal Reserve is like the driver steering the economy in the right direction and adjusting the speed as needed. And one of the most critical tools at the Fed's disposal, the steering wheel, if you will, is the management of interest rates. The Federal Reserve uses a key interest rate, known as the Federal Funds Rate, to control the speed of the economy. This is the interest rate at which banks lend money to each other overnight. Any changes in the Federal Funds Rate can create a ripple effect throughout the economy, influencing everything from the cost of borrowing to the rate of inflation. So, in essence, the Federal Reserve has a significant impact on the economy by managing interest rates. It's like a maestro conducting an orchestra, where each instrument plays a crucial role, and the conductor, the Federal Reserve, guides the performance by adjusting the tempo, the interest rates in this case, to create a harmonious symphony of economic stability and growth. The key to understanding the Federal Reserve's impact lies in its management of interest rates. As we delve deeper into this topic, we'll explore how the Fed uses this tool and the effects it has on our everyday lives. So buckle up and get ready for a fascinating journey into the world of economics. So, how does the Federal Reserve implement its monetary policies? Well, the Federal Reserve, or the Fed as it's often called, has a few tricks up its sleeve. Among its most crucial tools are its monetary policy tools, with interest rates taking center stage. The key interest rate controlled by the Fed is the Federal Funds Rate. Now you may wonder, what's that? The Federal Funds Rate is the interest rate at which banks lend money to each other overnight. It's like a barometer for the financial weather, giving us a sense of the economic climate Changes in this rate ripple through the economy, affecting everything from the cost of a mortgage to the interest earned on savings. When the Fed wants to stimulate the economy, it lowers the federal funds rate. This move makes borrowing cheaper, encouraging banks to lend more, businesses to invest more, and consumers to spend more. On the other hand, if the Fed wants to cool down the economy and keep inflation in check, it raises the federal funds rate. This action makes borrowing more expensive, which can slow down investment and spending. But the Fed doesn't just set the federal funds rate and call it a day. It's a bit more complex than that. The Fed has to actively manage this rate through operations in the open market, buying or selling government securities. When the Fed buys these securities, it injects money into the banking system, which can help lower the federal funds rate. Conversely, when it sells these securities, it withdraws money from the banking system, which can push the federal funds rate up. The Fed also has other tools at its disposal, such as the discount rate, which is the interest rate at which banks can borrow directly from the Fed and reserve requirements, which dictate how much money banks must hold in reserve. So, there you have it. The manipulation of interest rates is a powerful tool that the Federal Reserve uses to steer the economy. It's a bit like the rudder of a ship guiding the U.S. economy through the ever-changing seas of global finance. But how exactly does the Federal Reserve influence interest rates? Well, the Federal Reserve has three primary methods to control interest rates. Open market operations, the discount rate, and reserve requirements. Starting with open market operations. This is the Fed's most frequently used tool. It involves buying or selling government securities in the open market. When the Fed buys securities, it injects money into the banking system, which lowers the federal funds rate. Picture a balloon filling with air, expanding as more money circulates in the economy. On the other hand, when the Fed sells securities, it pulls money out of the system, 
like letting air out of the balloon. This action raises the federal funds rate, constricting the flow of money. Next, let's talk about the discount rate. This is the interest rate at which banks can borrow money directly from the Fed. It's like your friend offering to lend you money at a certain interest rate. If your friend raises the rate, you might think twice before borrowing, right? Similarly, when the Fed raises the discount rate, banks find borrowing more expensive and may curb their lending. Conversely, if the discount rate is lowered, banks are encouraged to borrow and lend more freely. Lastly, we have the reserve requirements. These requirements dictate how much money banks must hold in reserve. It's like having a minimum balance in your savings account. If the Fed raises the reserve requirement, banks have less money available to lend, effectively raising interest rates. If the Fed lowers the reserve requirement, banks have more money to lend, which can lead to lower interest rates. Now you might be wondering, what's the impact of all this on the economy? Well, these actions can significantly influence our day-to-day -day lives. For instance, when interest rates are low, you might find it cheaper to borrow money for a house or a car, stimulating consumer spending. Businesses, too, can borrow at lower costs, promoting investment and potentially leading to job creation. On the flip side, higher interest rates can make borrowing more expensive, which may discourage spending and investment. Additionally, by managing interest rates, the Fed plays a crucial role in controlling inflation. If the economy is overheating, the Fed may raise interest rates to cool down spending and prevent inflation from spiraling out of control. But it's not always smooth sailing. The Fed's decision-making process can be complicated by various factors, including economic conditions, global events, and unforeseen circumstances. In essence, through these methods, the Federal Reserve can adjust interest rates to meet its economic objectives. And while it might seem complex, understanding these mechanisms is key to comprehending the broader economic picture. So the next time you hear about the Fed adjusting interest rates, you'll know exactly what's going on behind the scenes. Through these methods, the Federal Reserve can adjust interest rates to meet its economic objectives. What happens when the Federal Reserve changes interest rates? This seemingly straightforward question has a multifaceted answer that touches every corner of our economy. Let's start with consumer spending. Interest rates are the cost of borrowing money and the reward for saving it. So, when the Federal Reserve lowers interest rates, it becomes cheaper to borrow and less rewarding to save. This encourages consumers to take out loans for big-ticket items like homes and cars. It also stimulates spending on credit as people are less likely to put money into savings accounts that are earning minimal interest. On the other hand, when the Federal Reserve raises rates, borrowing becomes more expensive and saving becomes more rewarding. This can discourage consumer spending, which can slow economic growth. Next, let's look at business investment. The cost of borrowing doesn't just affect consumers, it also impacts businesses. When interest rates are low, it's cheaper for businesses to borrow money to invest in new projects, equipment, or staff. This can lead to increased business activity, which can stimulate economic growth and create jobs. Conversely, when interest rates are high, borrowing becomes more expensive. This can make businesses more hesitant to invest, which can slow economic growth and job creation. Now let's turn our attention to inflation. Inflation is the rate at which the general level of prices for goods and services is rising. The Federal Reserve uses interest rates as a tool to control inflation. If the economy is growing too quickly and prices are rising too fast, the Federal Reserve might raise interest rates. This can cool down the economy by making borrowing more expensive and encouraging saving, which can slow spending and prevent inflation from accelerating. On the other hand, if the economy is in a slump and prices are falling, the Federal Reserve might lower interest rates to stimulate spending and ward off deflation. Finally, let's consider the overall economy. The collective impact of changes in consumer spending, business investment, and inflation can lead to broader economic trends. For instance, sustained low interest rates can lead to economic expansion while sustained high interest rates can lead to economic contraction. In summary, 
the Federal Reserve's manipulation of interest rates is a bit like the conductor of an orchestra, directing the various sections to create a harmonious performance. By raising and lowering interest rates, the Federal Reserve can influence the rhythm of consumer spending, the tempo of business investment, and the pitch of inflation, all in an effort to compose a stable and growing economy. So, the Federal Reserve's control of interest rates directly impacts our everyday lives and the broader economy. Whether you're thinking about buying a house, starting a business, or simply planning your budget, understanding the role of the Federal Reserve and the impact of interest rates can help you make informed decisions. Managing interest rates is a complex task with many challenges. While the Federal Reserve wields significant influence over the U.S. economy through its monetary policy, this power doesn't come without its fair share of hurdles and uncertainties. The Fed's decision-making process is often likened to walking a tightrope. On one side, there's the risk of stifling economic growth by setting interest rates too high. On the other, there's the danger of igniting runaway inflation by keeping rates too low. Striking the right balance is a delicate act, requiring careful analysis of economic data and vigilant monitoring of economic trends. Economic conditions, both domestically and internationally, play a significant role in the Fed's decisions. The state of employment, inflation, and growth indicators all factor into the complex calculus of interest rate management. Moreover, the interconnectedness of the global economy means that events abroad can have significant effects at home. For instance, an economic downturn in a major trading partner can impact U.S. export sectors, influencing the overall economic climate and, in turn, the Fed's policy choices. Unforeseen factors, often referred to as economic shocks, also pose challenges. These can include sudden changes in oil prices, natural disasters, political upheavals, and even pandemics. These unexpected events can disrupt economic stability, and require nimble responses from the Federal Reserve. Furthermore, the effects of interest rate changes don't occur instantly. There's typically a lag between the Fed's actions and their impact on the economy. This delay adds another layer of complexity to the Fed's task, as it must anticipate future economic conditions based on current data. Lastly, the Fed must also consider the psychological aspect of its decisions. Its policies can shape market expectations, which can in turn influence economic behavior. Thus, the way the Fed communicates its decisions can be just as important as the decisions themselves. Despite these challenges, the Federal Reserve must navigate these complexities to maintain economic stability. The Fed's ability to manage these challenges and uncertainties underscores the importance of its role in the U.S. economy. Through careful management of interest rates, the Federal Reserve strives to foster sustainable economic growth, promote maximum employment, and keep inflation in check. Understanding the Federal Reserve and how interest rates work is essential for anyone interested in the economy. The Federal Reserve, or the Fed as it's often referred to, is the linchpin of the United States financial system. Established over a century ago, the Fed's primary purpose has been to ensure the country's monetary and financial stability. It accomplishes this monumental task through various tools and mechanisms, with the manipulation of interest rates being one of its most potent. The Federal Reserve's dual mandate of promoting maximum employment and maintaining stable prices is a delicate balancing act. It requires a deep understanding of economic indicators and a keen foresight to predict potential shifts in the economy. To achieve this, the Fed uses its key instrument, the federal funds rate. This rate, which is the interest rate at which banks lend money to each other overnight, has far-reaching effects on the economy. The Fed's influence on interest rates happens through open market operations, the discount rate and reserve requirements. By buying or selling government securities in the open market, it effectively controls the amount of money flowing in the banking system, impacting the federal funds rate. The discount rate, the interest rate at which banks can borrow directly from the Fed, influences the cost of borrowing and consequently, banks' lending practices. Lastly, by adjusting the reserve requirements, 
The Fed controls how much money banks have on hand for lending. These interest rate changes have a ripple effect on the economy. They affect consumer spending, business investment, and inflation. Lower interest rates encourage borrowing and spending, which can stimulate economic growth. Conversely, when rates are high, they can dampen spending and investment, slowing down the economy. The Fed uses this mechanism to keep inflation in check, ensuring stable prices. But the Fed's role is not without challenges. Global events, economic conditions, and other unforeseen factors can complicate its decision-making process. In these instances, the Fed's ability to adapt and respond effectively to these challenges is crucial. The Federal Reserve's role in shaping monetary policy and influencing economic growth, employment, and inflation is significant. It is a key player in the U.S. economy, and its decisions and actions have far-reaching implications. For investors, businesses, and policymakers, understanding the Fed's workings and its influence on interest rates is critical. It enables them to anticipate potential economic shifts and make informed decisions. So, as we can see, the Federal Reserve's role in managing interest rates is a powerful tool for steering the U.S. economy. Its actions can stimulate growth during economic downturns or rein in an overheating economy. However, it's also a complex and delicate task, with the Fed continually having to balance various competing factors. By monitoring the Federal Reserve's decisions, one can gain insights into the direction of the economy and make informed decisions.